This is the in the bay and the MMU getting ready to take off for the satellite. See the T pad sticking out there in front. Flight over to the satellite uh, was was just like we practiced in the simulator, except the view was a little better. And see, uh, we were a little closer than uh, the 200 feet that we planned, and so I only did a two potato burn instead of a two and a half potato burn. So I'm a little slower than. But all that felt very comfortable from my standpoint of watching the satellite and watching uh, Pinky do the flyover, just like uh, just like we planned it. It's a nice, stable device that uh, the MMU really performs superbly throughout the flight. The MMU is really a very, very nice machine to fly. You could put it wherever you wanted. Uh, flying up on the satellite was uh, just like, uh, just like we'd done in the simulator, all the way up to the point here where we attempt to do a dock, and uh, the T-pad hits that little pin that's sticking out and bounces right off. That's a view from the helmet-mounted camera. The satellite initially was rotating at about uh, nine-tenths of a degree per second about its long axis uh, before the uh, attempts to grapple it. This, I think, is the last uh, attempt I made at uh, doing the docking. We had some pretty good rates on the satellite already. You can see, go in there and I watch it bounce right out again. It when, bounce out at about the same rate you go in. Uh, when Pinky bounced off for the third time, I guess I became convinced that we were not going to be able to, uh, to get it with the T-pad, and it didn't look to me like it was worth trying to come back and get the other T-pad because I didn't have any reason to think it would work any better. We did have a, a rotating grapple up our sleeve. However, the satellite was tumbling end over end, as you can see here. And uh, the, uh, the grapple fixture is right under one of those solar rays, so there's no way we'd be able to attempt the, uh, the rotating grapple either. That was when I asked uh, Pinky if he thought he could try uh, grabbing hold of one of the solar rays, which uh, what he did here. And the MMU, again, uh, performed flawlessly. It was a fairly easy task just to fly up and uh, grab the solar array and walk out to, to, to the edge of it and try and stabilize the satellite. And uh, when, when I let go of the satellite, we'd, uh, we all thought we had it stabilized, but yeah. there was some energy in there someplace. Uh, it uh, basically had stopped uh, rotating in, uh, in the pitch and yaw axes, and the only thing we had going was, it appeared to us, was that the little roll wrapped the long axis again, which is what we wanted. Uh, so we brought uh, Pinky back in and uh, and attempted to go ahead and, and grapple it. However, when we went back, it actually developed more of a tumble again. However, this time it was in a, in a mode that we thought we could uh, gain access to the grapple fixture. We made about four attempts at it, and uh, it uh, was tumbling in such a fashion that uh, TJ came within inches of getting it one time. I thought for sure he had it, and so it blossomed. Uh, our TV camera did that he uses for the grapple, and I really contributed that mostly with the, the reason that he actually didn't get a hold of it that time. Uh, the ground told us they thought they might be able to stabilize it, which was new data to us, and, uh, and they gave us some fuel figures that they needed, so we elected to go ahead and go along with that option and, and backed out and uh, to try again another day. This is letting the bees out of their little house here, kind of. We did this oh, a couple times a day. It was uh, good entertainment, if nothing else, and we were watching their progress on their, uh, on their honeycomb. Yeah, we were made sure that there was no way they were going to get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> I checked that first thing. <laughs> this is a little bit of uh, in-flight repair with the EVA power tool. We weren't, we weren't uh, programmed to use it inside the vehicle, but it turned out it was a really good way to uh, take off and put on panels so that we can get at some filters inside the vehicle and clean them. And uh, Pinky did most of the work, but this is just me doing some, uh, putting some in just for practice. You know, the government runs on paper, and uh, we have to have our teleprinter on board. Uh, it's just taking a message out of the teleprinter for the day. And uh, When we changed our flight plan there, we got flight plans up from the ground every day like that. They do our daily exercise like we always do, so we have a treadmill on board.